In order to determine the capacitance of the drop that results when two drops of mercury merge together, we have to remember that the capacitance of a isolated sphere is given by the following equation. We can see that the capacitance equals 4 pi times a constant times the radius of that sphere. Now, we are taking two individual mercury drops and then we are merging them into a single larger drop. We're going to have to figure out what the radius of that new drop of mercury is. We've indicated in the diagram the radiuses of the individual drops as r because that's the variable given in the question. And then the new radius, once the drops merge together, we've indicated by r prime. Now, the key to the question is to understand that the volume of this drop plus the volume of this drop will have to equal the volume of this new drop. We can call that V prime. In other words, the volumes are additive. Now, we remember that the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius of the sphere cubed. So what we're going to do is for the volume of this first sphere is use that equation. We would have 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. We're going to add that to 4 thirds times pi times its radius cubed. And then this will equal 4 thirds times pi times the new radius, which again is r prime, cubed. And our job is to find that new radius, r prime. Now, all three terms of this equation have a 4 thirds pi in them, so we can actually divide that term out. We would be left with r cubed plus r cubed is equal to r prime cubed. Of course, we can add the terms on the left side to make 2 r cubed, and then that's equal to r prime cubed. To finish solving for r prime, we're going to take the cube root of both sides of this equation. So on the right side, the cube root and the cube will cancel, leaving us with just r prime. On the left side, we would have the cube root of 2 times the cube root of r cubed. In other words, when you have a product and you're cube rooting it, you can take the cube root of each part of the product. The cube root of 2 is just going to stay as the cube root of 2, but the cube root of r cubed is just capital R. So this would be the final expression we would have for r prime, which again is the radius of the larger sphere once the two individual drops merge together. Now we're ready to calculate the capacitance. We're going to, again, use this equation right here, 4 pi epsilon times r. So we'll have 4 pi times epsilon, which is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 and that unit is farads per meter, multiplied by the radius. Now the radius of the larger sphere we just determined is the cube root of 2 times r. r was given in this question as 3.83 millimeters. Now of course we want to convert that into meters, so we'll have 3.83 times 10 to the minus 3, and that will put it into meters. Watch out here, there's a decimal point there. 3.83 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. We'd pick up our calculators, we would punch this all in. We would get 5.37 times 10 to the minus 13. If you look at the units carefully, the meters will cancel, leaving you with just farads. And if for some reason your homework system needs this in picofarads, we recall that one picofarad is 10 to the minus 12 farads. Notice the way in which we've set up this conversion factor is that when we multiply, the farads would cancel, leaving you with just picofarads. So another way to express the answer would be 0.537 picofarads. So you can report your answer in farads or in picofarads if your homework system requires it.